Yo, what's up everyone? It's your girl Angel Wings and I'm back giving you another collective message. Okay, and I want to start with the spirit animals. Something is calling me to them. Alright, I'm hearing someone standing their ground. So let's see what animal comes out. Um, you. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Because I could, I could see the buffalo earlier. Beaver creating something and you're standing your ground. Interesting. Ooh, and there's some sharks about you. Right. So let's tap into that energy. Like, who is the shark? What do you need to know right now? You're standing your ground with something. Some sort of plan that you've put together. You're trying to see like the higher picture, the bigger picture, okay? When it comes to this plan or people around you, okay? Okay? I feel like you have a lot of people that want to fuck with you. Spirituality came out, number 77. You might be seeing a lot of sevens everywhere. Or a lot of eights, seven, seven, eight, eight. Spiritual career seven eight. Are you guys seeing this shit? So the first card seven seven and then eight eight and then seven eight What the fuck like the angels are too on point and look solar eclipse your revolution So some big change is about to come into your career um, You're gonna get some sort of financial blessing because you have been standing your ground. Okay, that is the message here That's what I'm feeling uh, physical activity, okay, so, and number 67 too, healing, so maybe for some of you there's a health message, you know, um, I, I split the deck and it's health, what the fuck, ooh, okay, so basically some of you guys, maybe there's something, you know, like diet changes or exercise, what are you, what are you, patience and pride, so with some things as well, it's important you have patience, like things are building, things are growing, not everything can happen at once. I'm getting a lot of Leo energy. Um, don't let pride get in your way, you know? I mean, if you want individuality reversed there, so it's like you need to persist with whatever it is that you're doing. If you're building a career, persist, persist, persist. Put that passion, direct it into it, okay? All right. So that was crazy. So this is a very, your fucking career is leading you to abundance. And many of you are supposed to be spiritualists. Many of you are supposed to read tarot. Many of you are supposed to be healers. Many of you are supposed to be like sprink, sprinkling your light into the world in some kind of way. All right. And that's what this message is here. Okay. Solar revolution. It's time for you to shine. Even like this elk in the picture very masculine energy, so it's like you need to be empowered at this time. You need to uh, stand by whatever it is that you're working on. Even if people try to say no, you should be doing this. How do they know? You know what I'm saying? They don't know. Oh, a card just fell. They only know themselves, okay? The Hierophant fell because you need to listen to that inner voice and silence the naysayers, okay? What a message though, 7788 seven, eight, and then 78, like so intense. We'll check in on that pink, pink, purple, and pink. So lots of heart and third eye activations are going on for you guys. You might be getting some crazy dreams or psychic downloads. You might be like opening up your heart, you know what I mean? So like as you do this, you're just inviting money and good vibes and good people and like all the good stuff because you're aligned. That's why the Hierophant fell because it's like you're aligned your angels want you to know you're a lion, so keep being willing, will to create this abundance in your life. Create willingness, willingness and creativity. Girl, guy, what the fuck? Some of you don't accept your natural gifts or you don't accept something and that's a, that's causing a block. What I'm hearing is that, look, forgiveness reverse, you can't forgive yourself for something. And I think that's what's causing this. I'm seeing a block here. There is a huge block. Whoa. How have I just seen this now? This is so on point and direct. So like, look. Do you see? Do you see? It's like you maybe weren't paying attention to it. But now it's like just overwhelmingly blocking you and blocking your path. And your angels want you to seek inner union. They want you to commit to self. Or maybe this is related to... Um, Love relationships, love partners, partnerships. We do have the higher thing. This is also about commitment. Okay, take the message how it swings. There is going to be transformation and cooperation coming into your life. So like you might be transforming a relationship with someone. That's what I see here with these cards. But 
it does seem to be like a very big block and I feel it's because you feel you did not act, you didn't take action because this is the energy that's strained and you can't forgive yourself. It's like this trauma is stored in the body and you're encouraged to get healthy, exercise, um, change your diet, pay attention to your physical world, your physical needs, okay? What is giving you nour nourishment? I'm hearing that as well. You need to check. There's something about what it is you're doing. Um... That's creating like imbalances and toxicity. 44 here, the number of the angels. So definitely more of that physical world and healing. Forgive yourself or forgive others, okay? Um, maybe this is a lesson your angels want you to dive into. You are now able to activate the power of love in order to release past hurts, okay? And that could be this too, because I'm seeing a huge block, okay, that's really kind of holding you back. Your angels are saying, no, you have too much abundance and too much good stuff to do that. So we're not going to let you do it. <sighs> or we will for a bit. But then, then it's game on. Okay, this is also, it's it's a weekend video. So welcome to Drunk Tarot also. But hey, mm -mm -mm. okay, let me see. Where are we going? Let's get some more oracles. I want to get the energies out and tap in. Strength, see? And High Priestess of Earth in the reverse. This is everything we've been talking about. The strength to stand by whatever it is that you're building, you're creating. Um, if it's a relationship, if it's a person, you know, it's 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 that this inner knowing that you have. You need to stand by it. Forgive yourself for not knowing stuff in the past. Or forgive yourself for not being what you blah, blah, blah. You can always hold yourself to something, but it's not if it's not helping you grow, then you need to cut yourself away. And I feel that's why the Hierophant fell too, because this is about finding your own individual path. It's about creating that. It's about paving that out, okay? The Four of Materials is right under that. So it's like, as you continue to trust yourself, as you continue to say, fuck you to all these fucking haters, it's like... It's like you just create, it's like it merges in front of you. It's it's really cool. Once you put the light on it, the path appears. It's 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 cool and it's it's awesome. So pay attention. Strength, high priestess of earth reverse. So something is depleting your energy. What is it? Is it substance abuse? I'm totally getting health coming through here. Ah, so your angels are like, mind that now, please. <laughs> Could be from money to physical body. Ah, beauty just fell out. So a lot of you are maybe feeling insecure. Maybe you have, you have, and look, it's another four. <gasps> okay, let's get into this shit. Hang on. Meditation reverse. You need to clear that mind. All right, you got too much going on. You need to go create space for you to breathe, for you to heal, for you to actually comprehend certain things, okay? Um, there's something here about a contract that you've signed. You need more coherence when it comes to this contract or this, um, official thing within your life, right? But beauty, 444, there's something in your body you want to change. There's something physical that you want to change. You might be feeling kind of like, um, depressed or like doubting yourself. I'm seeing here there is a need to watch what you're drinking and eating specifically, I'm seeing inflammation. So there is also a need to rest, ground in the earth, go outside to the earth. So don't put your shoes on, take your shoes off and walk in the earth. Connect to that nature and get that grounding, okay? Connect to the vibration of earth and your spirit, okay? Because you're supposed to be manifesting this abundance for yourself. But these blockages, there's like two main blockages that are appearing here for you. Denial. You're in denial about certain things. What is the viewer in denial about? Let me get the tarot on that. Like, what is the viewer in denial about? What you know already, okay, working with people or a job, a contract, that contract's coming through again. What is the viewer in denial about? Your own healing? This is like resistance to healing with that four of voices. Like, look, but definitely your eyes are closed to something, even though it's like, it's like lasers in your face. Okay, so you're closed. Ten of voice, oh, an ending. You're in denial about an ending. Mm -hmm. Someone may have cheated on you, betrayed you, used you, 
Um, could have been a water sign or a fire sign, an air sign. Um, beauty is important here, so it could be about comparison with others. You maybe feel like you are less now because someone has made you feel this way. Perhaps someone betrayed you for someone else. And um, there is a really a big need of self-care that's coming through here because even this face, this woman had, it's like she's in a bath. Kind of looks like a bath. I know it's not, but you can imagine that she's a goddess and she is having a bath, okay? Another message, you need to be in nature. You need to go like camping or something. You need to just surround yourself with the elements, okay? I'm, I'm really seeing that. Roses again? What is it? I don't know if it's roses or if it's... It's roses and she's having a bath in the clouds, which I think is just beautiful, okay? So there's also a need to expand your consciousness, right? Be more creative, invite more of that energy down and accept the truth, okay? So if something bad happened and you're not focusing on it, like in this picture here, it's kind of like your head's turned, but it's still burning you. Um, and that burning, it just seeps and seeps down until everything is on fire and that's all you can see. So there is a need to release and to heal. Healing is important here. We have Oath and the Warrior. So more of this contract stuff. You have taken an oath to do something. Let's find out what it is. You have abundance. You're manifesting abundance. Your spiritual path. <sighs> Your spiritual path is connected to um, material abundance, spiritual abundance. There's something coming through about you activating something within your life, your work, your career. Because you are here for a reason. You have a purpose to do something. And part of that purpose is you will inherit this success, this contract of success. And, and there will be a lot of passion. People are going to be feeling very drawn and passionate towards you like the energy of the sun. You very much could be a Leo or have a lot of fire or Leo energy in your chart, okay? But yeah, you're a warrior and you are creating some sort of village, some sort of um, home in this world. Yeah? This is like a rebirth energy. Denial again as I split the deck. Wow. And the fledgling. Some of you need to escape something. You need to flee the nest. Like, um, you feel a prison for yourself. Even in this picture here, it looks like she's in a prison. An energetic prison. You've created this, but it's time to let that go. It's time to direct that fire towards those vines, towards that prison, and burn everything. You know? So let's find out, like, what is it you're creating and what the guides and angels want you to know about it. Like, what is it the viewer is creating? I'm curious. <sighs> Synergy. Synergy. So this is where, like, things come together. Two things come together. More than two. Like, it just um, elements that come together and create something. Delight. It was reversed, though. You maybe feel quite burned out. Earth reversed uh, beneath that. You have no passion. <sighs> You're burned out. Okay. Synergy. So bringing something together. What is it exactly that the viewer wants to bring together? A marriage? Um, there was something that ended. You want to bring it back together. So this could be a relationship, a marriage. Take it how it swings. These messages are general, guys. But if it resonates, core for war, give me a like. You know what I mean? Like, that'd be so that'd be so nice. To have a like. Wow. Okay. Nine of emotions here. Nine of You know what I'm saying, guys. Like, you're actually going to This is you fulfilling your dreams with this shit. You're headed towards this nine of cups energy, the wheel of fate in reverse here. It's like you're you're fighting some sort of adversity within your life at the moment, but ultimately you're on the path to your highest fulfillment. I can't cope, guys. <sighs> so there are some endings that are needing to take place within your life before this wheel finally turns in your favor. Okay, queen of wands, queen of inspiration with the tower. Ooh. I'm curious about that. Hang on. And death. Of course, death. Reverse. This is very interesting energy. Hang on. I'm hearing you're going to drop something. Drop the mic. You're going to... You're going to, like, create something very powerful in this world. And it's going to help people to move on and deal with the kind of, um... 
the forces of life um, that are out with our control, like destruction, death, um, pain, suffering, all, all of the bad stuff. Knight of Cups, Page of Materials. I'm hearing invest in yourself. Temperance, healing, beautiful. So it's like you are, this is interesting. It's like I'm getting goddess, god energy. Like this person is golden. You are golden. That is exactly what the divine is saying to you. You are a golden child, okay? And you have something inside of you that is meant to nourish and feed others. And as I say that, this was the card beneath it. You're going to nourish and feed others with this gift that you're cultivating with this power, okay? And once, right now you're learning to balance and maintain this, right? I'm hearing this was like all part of the path or all part of the plan. But again, about speaking your truth and making informed decisions, but for yourself, you know, you need to, wow, the Empress straight beneath that. Right, hang on a second. There's messages everywhere. There's some sort of knowledge or wisdom. Actually, I'm seeing here there's some sort of skill that you have right there's something here you're actually very very proficient in like hang on my phone's going to die now don't do that one second everything went dark that's interesting there we go so uh, everything is everywhere now right okay i'm seeing here you have a skill and your angels want you to develop this skill because it is going to open you up to a lot of new experiences and really plant you, I'm hearing, in a position of power. Okay? Influence. That's what is destined for you. But you need to pick up the sword, I'm hearing. You need to actually utilize what the divine is giving you right now. Even if you're in a moment in your life where you don't think you have anything and you think the world is like this wheel here, it's, it's fighting against you. I hear now it's like the universe falls in love with a stubborn heart. So don't fucking give up. If the universe is beating you up, then fight back even harder. Be like this white horse here. It's so funny, before this reading, I was remembering a movie. And this is reminding me of it. It was called Spirit. And it's about a horse. A wild horse. And... It's such a good, beautiful movie, and there's, like, no speaking in it. It's, it's very, very great, and I think the message is just beautiful. It's like, follow your spirit no matter where it takes you. Sometimes you're going to come upon these paths that are incredibly challenging, and you're going to think, this is it, this is the end, and there will be nothing else, okay? And that is, like, soul-crushing, but then it's, like, your faith and your spirit that has to override this and say, no, because I can see exactly what's ahead of me because I'm going to make it. You know, and just follow that spirit. That's the energy here. You are like cracking the codes of the universe, the mysteries of the universe. Wow, 18 minutes, guys. I'm going to finish up anyway. So let's get more into it. Like, what advice can we give you? Hang on, hang on. Okay, we'll stick with these cards for now. We've seen those sharks. Let's check on those sharks. Like, what? What is it the viewer needs to watch out for? Like, what do we need to be aware of? Mm-hmm. Okay, someone or a group of people here, hang on, you need to watch the energy like people are polluting you with, I'm hearing that as well, so something about clearing your space, do not be accepting invitations, contracts, energy agreements with anybody, there's something here about freeing or cleansing your energy of specific there may even be objects in your life your guides want you to clear away from you. So if you have something specific that has a certain energy attached to it, it's about releasing those attachments. I'm hearing that. Okay. Um, yeah. And one second, let me clarify this. There might be someone here, an air sign, a younger air sign that is infatuated with you. They have a lot of emotions for you. A lot of emotional baggage I'm hearing. Hang on. Yeah, this is four of cups in the reverse here. Someone's feeling pretty rejected. Page of cups reversed, okay? You could have been childhood friends with this person. But this person is not thinking clearly. Even with this picture, it's like this person is not... Whoa, is that like... 
It looked like a dark angel to me. I thought like her hands were wings, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. There's something dark about your energy. There's something about watching what people are doing, saying, because it's tinting your perception, your own perception. That's why you need to release these energies. It's going to correct your own vision. Okay, the fool underneath that, someone wants to start again with you or someone wants to take you for a fool. This doesn't necessarily need to be love. It could be like a sibling. It could be a friend. It could be someone that um took advantage or something. I'm feeling like envy here. Like with this this energy, like look at her. It's like, mm, you know what I mean? Like, mm, I'm checking you out. I'm like studying you. I'm like, mm-hmm. And then we have the two of wands in the reverse. Some sort of malicious plan. I'm hearing malicious plan. And five of wands reverse. So this is like this, a lot of inner pressure from this person, this energy. So take the messages how they swing. I am seeing here, this person could be younger than you. We have fire, air, water, and more air. Okay, so just take, take the message however way it resonates. So, oh. What are you? Okay, there's there could be some sort of blackmail or manipulation, right? I'm seeing that here, that you need to protect yourself from. Alright, someone is not, someone's being careless. Okay, someone's not accepting the truth, someone is in denial. You're being warned before this shit gets even worse. Justice, as I said that, you're being warned. The fucking, the divider on this and you do not want the sun reversed. There are hidden intentions that are about to be exposed. You're, you're being warned because karma is about to show her hand in all of this. Be careful with your fucking everything, your reactions, who's around you. Make sure you're set in boundaries. Do everything. You know what I mean? Listen to your emotions. King of Cups here. This is how your angels and guides want you to react. They want you to be very page of emotions too. So you need to be very mature. They want to see you being like emotionally mature. Because you have the king of cups and the page of emotions. Even if you're dealing with someone younger than you. Um, it's like, or someone more immature. Just like they want you to have a balanced approach. They want you to speak from the heart. Okay, and let someone in, I'm hearing. Surprise someone. Okay. Hang on, more of these. All right, and I'm thinking clearly about what it is you want to do here. Okay, so you might feel like you need to charge in with something. You have a real, or you're re gonna have a really good idea that's coming to you soon. What is this really good idea? Ah, your angels are saying it's gonna build up over time, so you need to pay attention to any um, downloads or any inspiration, any influence, anything, sign, message that the divine are giving you. Yeah, even look, look, all of the energy coming to her forehead. That's what is happening to you right now. Your dreams as well. Pay attention to your dreams. The Empress in the reverse here, with the Hermit reverse. Ooh. I'm hearing like something has been growing out of control, but like in silence or from within. So this is underneath someone. This is like inside of them. Why is it? Okay, discontent, heartbreak. The lovers reverse there with the magician. Some sort of plan. Okay, someone's want. Someone wants to try and manipulate something or someone. Let me see these cards. Okay, but you need to be you need to be open to the divine right now and work with them. There's many people around you on your path, but you need to really listen and see what the divine are trying to show you. That's what I'm seeing here. Opening, listening up. There's people around, and then here's the light that you need to be paying attention to. So yeah, okay. I'll leave the tarot there. What finishing messages? Unless, what other questions do we have? Hmm. 
just general advice quickly for the emperor that was the emperor not the empress i'm silly okay so since it is that like you need to be open. You need to show vulnerability. You need to open your heart. That's what I'm hearing now. Okay, the magician in the reverse here. So it's about also like taking control of things and taking your own power back and cutting the binds. Like if you were sitting in a stagnant position for so long, it like don't. <laughs> don't. Okay. Any finishing advice? Let's just be random. Let's just get some random cards here. Angels, what do we need to say before we finish? What can help the viewer? What can help the viewer? Okay, we have wishing in reverse. So don't wish. Okay, do. I'm hearing that. Like, you need to take more action. The fledgling. There is something you need to escape from. Escape. Okay, number one and number 19. Okay, you're wishing for something. It's become, becoming a detriment because the angels... Look what just fell out. It's the same as like a reading I did the other night. Love and chaos. You have two choices to make. What's it going to be? Rigid. Don't think too hard. Like you need to loosen up as well. Meditation. You need to loosen up. Okay. You need to get clear about what it is you actually want to manifest. Otherwise, this is what you're going to manifest again. Chaos. Hope. Have hope. Maintain your vision. Maintain your light self-worth in reverse you need to believe that you're worth everything you need to believe that you're worth your desires and they are going to chase you okay that's how it works all righty so finishing messages what is the viewer we need to know right now please angels consciousness again your consciousness is crying out because it wants to expand and it doesn't want to be kept in a cage anymore okay compassion you need to open up and express that vulnerable heart okay coherence again you need to have more coherence you need to meditate Tantric journey, a lot about sexual, pa uh, cleanse your energy, I'm hearing that, divine masculine, cleanse your energy, tantric journey, you may have been having a lot of like passionate or sexual like attachments, cleanse, detach from all of this, alchemy, make magic within your life, how can you change things, dynamic in reverse, some dynamics are about to change in your life, um, I'm hearing broken dynamics, so there is a dynamic that is about to be broken, or it is broken, and authority, so speak authority over your life, okay, so you need to actually take control over what it is you want and what you're manifesting, third eye chakra, you need to see what it is you actually want, so that you can manifest it clearly, healing, you need to heal, and this is what the whole reading has been about, so close, close your energy down, come back in, be in hermit, okay? Put your energy in here, into your heart space. Glow the fuck up. Blow up and glow up. But blow up in good ways. Okay. I'm gonna get some charms and shit and just some random oracles. We're just, we're just being groovy. We're just feeling it, okay? So let's get some charms because this may be significant. You may be get some messages, okay? Okay, angels. What does the viewer need to be aware of? Some runes, please. What else? Initials. I see an M. An M has fallen out or a W. Um, right though, we'll start with the charms. So, first of all, there could be something coming through about family and bonds, family bonds, family connections. Or childhood healing, I'm hearing that now as well. There might be something in your childhood that is a broken link. You need to heal it. You need to mend that. Like, some of you might be, like, really kind of cold and robotic and it's, like, blah right now, right? But your angels are saying you need to open up. See, the robot with the heart, it's, like, don't be so cold. Don't be so, you know, robotic. Be a human. Feel your feelings. Go and do something that makes you feel alive, okay? It's, you're, it's like, you're stoic. You're cold. You're disheartened you're feeling unloved you need protection but your angels are on it okay the nazar is here you have some people that are sending you the evil eye okay there's some spell work that is being done on you it's hidden in the background that's why i feel like be careful with what you eat and drink as well look this health this physical earth charm has fallen out too so it's really important that you tend to your physical needs right now um this is going to help ground you and ground your manifestations you got the lucky horse, horseshoe charm, so you do have good fortune in your future. 
I'm hearing marriage as well, okay? Emeralds, marriage, serpentine, okay? Like, all of that could be important to you. Take it how it swings. We have the doll. Pisces, but also dolphins symbolize love, okay? So maybe there's love in your future. Pisces energy here. There's, Pisces could be relevant to you, but dive into your emotions, into your dreams. It's like, how can your dreams form? What is it do you need, to, what do you need to do to create a foundation for the manifestation to come in? You know, it's like when you're building something, you need a frame for everything else to sit on top of it. You know what I mean? That's what I'm picking up right now. It's like you need to actually create something. Otherwise, nothing is going to come in. You have the owl here symbolizing communication with your guides, but also listening again to the inner self. That should be the most important thing. Um, I, I'm remembering like authority and, and divine masculine. So it's like your angels and guides. That was the energy we came into the reading with. I could feel it. It's like stand your ground. Even if people come and try to push you, you need to say, no, I know what's right. I feel what's right. I don't need you to tell me because ultimately, if you don't know, nobody in this world is going to know. This place is a mirror. So it's really bad if you're confused because that's exactly what you're going to reflect back to you. Call on your angels. They are asking for you. They are wanting communication. They want to talk to you. They have gifts for you. They have downloads. They just need you to open up the pathway. Maybe this is also a message that it's time to open up some other um, like forms of communication, channels of communication. Okay. You could do use cards or use something physical to connect. Um, just that's a fun thing. So go and explore yourself. Okay. Um, that's the message here as well. Hidden information could be important, but listen within. That is the overriding message. We have Z and an N. No, it's a K. Z, K, K, Z. Okay. I, K, Z, I, A, K, X, S, O, P. S, O, P. Sock. Someone is sopping. <laughs> Don't sop. Don't sop. That's funny. Okay. Anything else here? Let me see. So the rooms we have are Gibo, Gibo, and Hagaldas, and Lagu. So this is very straightforward. It's what I've been saying. There are gifts in prosperity in your future. It's like money is going to touch your hand. There's going to be something that comes across your path that is a divine assistance. It's a divine support to you. I'm hearing your guide saying you need to put in a little bit more work or there's something that they want you to do. But you're going to receive some sort of gift support. I'm also seeing this as union. Okay, so this is about coming more into balance within and trusting your emotions like who's here so this is allowing your emotions to guide you and trusting in that intuition balancing out these masculine feminine energies more marriage as well could be important okay since gibo is here i'm um, seeing a celebration an emotional outburst an emotional celebration okay so people we've seen synergy okay so synergy things and people are going to come together and it's going to be very very beautiful okay Th these moments of trials and pain it's um momentarily it, temporarily it's not going to be here forever actually this is just a stepping stone in your transformation so just like um hail because this is what this rune represents is the the rune of hail stone and the hail is water that becomes frozen and you know it melts you know everything is constantly moving and changing state changing form just as you are changing and constantly moving okay and changing form so this is what your guides and angels are saying. You are in the middle right now because this room was in the middle of these rooms. Um, Gibo was first. Okay, so ask for support and accept it into your life. Trust your emotions and know that this is not forever. Where you're going is incredibly fortunate, prosperous, and full of joy, love, good times. So have the faith, keep the faith. And yeah, I'm going to leave you there. If this message resonated, por favor, Reach out, leave me a like, um, comment on the video. I would love to hear from you. It makes me so happy. And thanks again to everybody that does support my channel and you interact and subscribe. It's just, it's the best thing in the world. Thank you so much. I love you all. Bye.